Boom, 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 boom. Oh, what's good, everybody? It is your boy, Mr. G. He trying to change up how I start my intros so I don't become predictable, as someone told me. <laughs> so, what's good, everybody? Uh, thank you all so much for being here. Please, for those of you that are following, this is my part 12 of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. Will not be a long stream, but we are going to try to do as much as we can, you know. Uh, yeah, part 12. Yeah, just making sure. So, with that, let's get started. Let's go back to my line. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I see you, Clive. I missed you, bro. It's been like three days. Oof. Hope you guys have been doing well. Please, if you can, drop a follow, drop a sub, drop a like, and follow me on all social media platforms. Over at Twitter, uh, over at Mr. M Y S T A underscore G. For Instagram, it's two underscores, but uh, everything else is one underscore. If you want more content, please follow me on there. I will keep you guys updated on everything on Twitter. On Instagram, you'll see. Uh, I appreciate it. With that being said, I am actually going to go sit on the couch and put my feet up because my knee's hurting and I need to rice it. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions, comments, please feel free to drop it in the chat and I shall answer you as quickly as I can. Alright? No promises and you already know. Thank you for joining the number one sleepy streamer, Mr. G. Yeah, that was different. Uh huh, that's what I'm trying to go for. It's putting me to sleep. <laughs> I, I kinda, I'm actually kind of curious to listen to it later. Smooth Mr. G with that Final Fantasy 16 putting you to sleep. As it puts me. <laughs> and it's not the story's fault. I'm just built sleepy. That's just how I'm built. Oh, man. Thank you again. Uh, <clears throat> let's try to get this to five views on YouTube. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Uh, we started off strong on it, but then I think I kind of burnt myself out and others when I kept putting it out every day. But that's okay. We are changing it to twice a week. Uh, I want to say Mondays and Thursdays, but uh, we shall see, you know, I want to try to be as consistent as possible, okay? Alright, going to the couch, getting started, I would say don't bother me because I'm focused, but the whole point of me streaming is so that you guys could bother me and interact, so. <laughs> What's up? Oi, I'm Roy Kent, coach of Richmond, AFC Richmond. Oh, my leg. <laughs> oh, word. That's a good call. Okay.
so selfish and cooked. Did you see the pair that got hauled into tires? Yeah. What do I owe the honor? Fraying about us, guys. Unless that is. So, will it be? It'd last you a good while. Surprise you didn't. Huh? That it. Fine. It's always the case. Seems the hideaway has lost its appetite. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. <laughs> the old rev, as the old say. Then. Well, there's weather. Oh. You'll not find a better oh, price than shit. that. Come again! Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Huh? Was it? It was 20,000. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. With the darkening skies. But be that as it may. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Let's go. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. You are always welcome, Clive. Let's get to the story stuff. 
Mr. G. Okay, extreme. Got it. I did them already. That was the last thing I did. I remember. The side quests have been so good, though. Did you see that? Really builds up everyone. Just talk to these delinquents. Ask about hunts. I trust you wrapped up warm. Yeah, there was this other sweet potato. I had a few of them already. Oh. Huh. Clive. You watch yourself out there, all right? Fancy a look at the list, do you? I don't mean to be gloomy. Is there a spit in there? They need all the help they can get. Quick look. Always something in there. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back, so it's not true. We've lost so much already. Come to claim your just desserts. Here you are. Come again. I may have more for you. What will it be today? What is it that you wish to learn? One must understand one's place in the world. This shit was really, they really added a lot of things to this game. Thus ends today's Help lesson. Keep track of everything. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just a messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. How 
is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, Sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, I love these little recaps. fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, there remained a drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Iron Heyar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. Now, a castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, <laughs> visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? 
But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. And when it rains, it, it, it fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. <sighs> and even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Yes, sir. We're on our way. Got missions to do. Clive. Here you go. First, we find Isabel. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. Ghosts? Then a wall won't stop them. And what can I do for you? And a fine, fine day to you. I 
can't do it. I can't. Lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashyyyk, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A Kashyyyk, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people, your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Ahem. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. <coughs> it's 
all right. Me, my family. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. you have a plan? We need to find out what we're facing. The captain lost his head because he never stopped to use it. If we reman the towers and fortify the walls, we might just stand a chance. all they could do to escape. Good girl. Sorry, Shim, I am. Uh, oh, the classic, Mr. Dave. Monosuit.
Greek Slashing was a deep bomb super now. Sorry. Save your strength. think there are more there are always more but I'd say we've done what we can for the time being <sighs> you have the town's thanks don't thank us yet there will be more. What? Many more. Okay. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? I'll yes, be there, sir. the lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. 
<laughs> Hearing that the Dane would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Okay. Oh. That was... Let's just get to the next one. Good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there are as many as Martha says? <laughs> You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Clive, wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. 
These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wade's men? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now.
Mad dogs. Hi right, stream, uh, this is a shorter stream, but I am super sleepy, I cannot play any longer, uh, and I have to get up early for work tomorrow, so, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Yes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Thank you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty.
I'm done. <sighs> the two to three things. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. One piece! Mother. Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job. Always. Jill and I will make for East. You'll need to move the injured without us. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Okay, well, I'm done with that part, but I am done for the night. So, yeah. Part 12. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. You all know, great evening and try to get you sleep. Try to get you eight hours. You need it. Alright, later.